Hi, my name's Amelia and this is me and my best friend, my dog Barney. We decided to set up a home dog boarding business together because, as you can see, I just adore dogs. I love dogs to be able to be who they are and um, I want to give them the best opportunity in life to enjoy the time when they can't be with their owners. So this video is going to show you how I set up my own dog boarding business from my home. Now, I'm not going to lie and say it didn't take a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of resource, a lot of research to get this set up. But here we go. This is my PPE drawer that we need. We've got um, things like germaline just in case there's injuries. Um, we've got our uh, gloves and aprons there. Here we've got our biodegradable dog poo bags because we want to be great for the environment. We've got a grooming kit if we get consents from owners to groom their dogs. I have um, bits for a spare walk, so spare dog poo bag holders and a travel um, bowl there for some water because we like to take your dog for a walk if we're allowed to get your consent. Um, we have some dog towels because everyone always gets messy and of course dog blankets, one if they're cold, two if they just want a little bit of comfort, they've got the option there. Here is where I store um, spare food just in case we haven't needed it yet. We've got spare bowls. There's my dog Barney. That's a lantern in case we lose electricity. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Best to be prepared. Thanks for helping there, Barney. This is our cutlery jaw. As you can tell, it's that's all it is. But on the bottom line, we've got the dog cutlery, so it's obviously kept separate from mine. I wash it separate from mine for um, to avoid infection risk, anything like that. We've got Sharpies so that I can label your dog's food. Here, this is what I fill out on my fridge. This is just for me. I don't know whether anyone else does it, but it's just for me. It's so I know what dog I've got in, what they bought in with them when they came, and the food that they bought in with them. Might include a blanket, a bed, and things like that that they bought with them, or their toys. In the fridge, we have a dog medicine box, and we have to keep a record of the temperature in the fridge for when we store medicines in that fridge to make sure we've got it at the right temperature. And then, of course, a dog food drawer because we don't want to mix and match mining your dog foods um, and with my sharpies they are all labeled of course so we don't mix and match our food okay now before you ask yes we do have a dog boarding license we can't do it without a dog boarding license and along with our license from our council comes a lot of paperwork but i was a school teacher once and so i'm kind of a bit of a lover of paperwork it's not a big chore for me, but there is a lot of it. We have to keep regular um, temperature recordings um, through in each of our rooms to make sure that the dogs are going to be cool enough. If it's too hot, if it's too cool, we have to mark down what the temperature is and what we've done to adjust it to make it within um, the range that we're allowed to keep it. We've also got a daily log, um, which I'll show you, and that just allows me to record which dogs I have in whether they've been to the loo, um, if everything with them is fine in that respect, if they've eaten their food, if they haven't. And it's at that point that I also write a note in my comment on each dog and just say about their behaviour, how they've been that day, or if I've made any note to the client to say, um, your dog's been a bit tired today, or they've you know, uh, perhaps had a bit of a bad tummy, um, anything like that, I record that all down so that we've got full notification and it's a, and it, we're very much open in our business. So I keep clients up to date right throughout their stay. Um, clients will get photographs all the time whilst their dog's with me so that they know, know that they're having a good time. They know that they're just as loved here as my own dog is because that's what we're all about dog love at the end of the day that's why i came into this business well there you go there was an extremely quick overview of how i started my own dog home boarding business but i will do a part two because there's a lot more to it than i've explained in this video but i just wanted to give you a very quick overview of it today and um, i hope you enjoyed take care bye